I'm Tom Campbell, the Dean of the Law School at Chapman University, and I'd like to present an update on what's been happening at our law school in recent weeks and months. Our students, thanks to their hard work and innate ability, and the tremendous work of Professor Mario Monero and his team, have passed the California bar at the highest percentage in our history, 82%. This is higher than any time we've achieved before and higher than the state average, higher than the average of ABA schools in California. Just a magnificent result and we couldn't be happier. Also since last I reported, the ABA Journal published a list of schools that are performing academically way above their uh, reputation and we are one of the three that were listed in the article in June. This is an honor, a respect uh, for the scholarship of our faculty and it shows that all we need is to get to be a little bit better known, maybe be in existence longer than just 16 years uh, and we'll be at the very, very top. Every year the Princeton Review analyzes law schools. This year in the area of quality of life, Princeton Review listed Chapman Law School as among the top ten in the entire country. We couldn't be happier. We think it's important for our students to learn and to be intense in their learning, but also to be in an environment that is welcoming and, and makes them feel as special as we believe them to be. And uh, that's validated in that uh, Princeton study. We've been going ahead uh, with our effort to make sure that our students are practice ready, skills trained. We believe that that's the most important thing we can do for our students. And I'm happy to say that through the generosity of a number of our Board of Visitors, uh, we now have raised more than $100,000 in a fund to hire adjunct faculty in order to teach the skills that students will need when they graduate. Adjunct faculty are excellent at this because they come out of practice in order to help students learn uh, the real world functions uh, that they need. And we believe that kind of help from practicing attorneys is essential for our students to have a great chance, particularly in a difficult job market. Uh, we're also very happy that our Business Emphasis Advisory Group has come through with visits to companies so that those students who want to go practice in businesses can do so. And one of the most enjoyable visits we had was to the Los Angeles Dodgers. Sam Fernandez, a member of our board, arranged for that and our students had a real insight into the practice of law in a corporate setting and they got a chance to uh, visit the dugout and not quite take batting practice, uh, but, but almost. It was, a, it was a wonderful opportunity for them. And then for students coming into our school, we held our first ever boot camp. We had 30 students who came during the summer uh, to learn what it's like to be in first year law school. And a number of these students are now crediting that boot camp with their improved uh, sense of, of uh, comfort in the uh, very strenuous uh, first year. Uh, our faculty, we've had some changes in our faculty. Perhaps uh, most importantly is our new associate dean for academics, Danny Bogart and our former associate dean for academics, Richard Redding, has now become an associate vice chancellor of the university. So we're very proud for his promotion. Carmen Shu has become our new assistant dean and director of admissions. Uh, she comes to us after many years as director of admissions at UCLA and has already had a very positive impact on our school. And Professor Ron Steiner, who directs our LLM program, has been working with the United States Agency for International Development in bringing law graduates from Afghanistan to receive their LLM in the United States. We're very proud of Shamsi and Munira, uh, two women attorneys from Afghanistan, who are studying with us uh, and who will return to Afghanistan, one to be a professor and the other to be a judge. Uh, professor Steiner did an interview about them on National Public Radio. Our law students have done very well. Chris Hasselman uh, and Lindsay Johnson uh, won the best brief uh, award in the Thomas Tang Moot Court competition. Uh, they already went on to the finals uh, and they made it all the way through to the quarterfinals. So we would have liked uh, nothing better than to have them win the whole thing, but this is a major achievement uh, that they won the best brief. And our ABA arbitration team has uh, succeeded at winning the qualifying round at the regionals and is now going to Chicago for the finals in January. Uh, we couldn't be prouder of our uh, students' achievements. We have uh, student events uh, sponsored. Most importantly in recent weeks was the uh, Nexus Symposium in October, uh, focusing on health care, the law and public policy of health care. And Diana Dooley, Secretary of Health and Human Services for the State of California, uh, was our keynote speaker. 
One of our alumni, Valerie Roan, and one of our students, Caitlin Walsh, have been very active in an organization called Innocence Matters. Innocence Matters focuses on the occasional error in our criminal justice system. Uh, this last semester, they brought to our campus John Edward Smith, who had been convicted of a crime he did not commit and served almost two decades in prison. Uh, this is an important thing for law students to realize and for all of Americans to realize that occasionally, despite what we try, our criminal justice system is not perfect. And I was glad that they provided this testimony for our law students this last semester at Chapman. And coming in the uh, month of February, February 1, is our Law Review Symposium, uh, which will focus on the role of law in corporate America. And we have the most important judge in this area, the Chancellor of the Delaware Court of Chancery, Leo Stein. And he will be joining us February 1st. So this is my report on a remarkably positive set of events at Chapman Law School. Our students, our faculty, and our staff have achieved a great deal and we know even greater achievements are yet to come. For more information, visit our website at chapman.edu forward slash law.